Welcome to the online tours by Main Story Gallery. We have exhibited before you today this painting, The Finding of the Savior in the Temple, painted by William Holman Hunt. William Holman Hunt was best known for his incredible attention to detail, his use of vivid colors, and his use of symbolism in his art pieces. And this painting is no exception. Um, there are a lot of details that we will uncover that also speak about Jesus' future ministry as uh, he becomes an adult. So we are first drawn into the scene of Jesus' parents finding him in the temple. The backstory of this painting is Jesus and his family had traveled to Jerusalem for the Passover feast and had begun the journey back to their hometown. However, a day later, his parents realized that Jesus is nowhere to be found with them in their group. So they traveled back to Jerusalem, searching for him for a few days, and at last they find him here in the temple, teaching and discussing with the other Jewish leaders and priests and teachers. So it's this moment of relief from his mother and concern from his father's face, and kind of this commotion of interruption and discord that we can kind of see um, in the men's faces over here. If we look first to this gentleman over here, he is said to be the chief priest, the oldest of all the elders. He is holding tightly the Torah, which is the first five uh, books of the Bible in the Old Testament that the Jewish people adhere to. And he is said to represent the Jews or the Jewish leaders that blindly held on to the old law, that they were unwilling to accept anything that was new that Jesus was preaching. The man sitting next to the chief priest is turned facing the older man holding a phylactery box, which held verses from the Torah and promises that God had given to them. And so this is a symbol of him Again, holding on to the old law and the promises that God had given to them. And it's almost as if he is reaching out towards the old man and agreeing with him that whatever Jesus is preaching is too far-fetched. It's too new. It's too different. They are going to turn away from what he's saying. However, this man over here, holding a scroll open, it's as if he is testing every word that Jesus is saying with the scripture. He is said to be a zealot or a zealous believer, someone who is passionate and even argumentative, ready to start an argument. And he has a bit of confusion and discord on his face as if he is unable to make a decision. And the next few men, um, this man over here is said to be kind of in a daze, as if he's not really engaging in the conversation. Uh, it almost looks like he's playing with a needle. Uh, he's dressed well, like a wealthy man, clothed in diamond jewelry. And this could even be referring to Jesus' future parable of the rich man, and how it is far easier for a camel to go through an eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. Uh, the man is holding a cup of water, which could symbolize Jesus as living water, or the water that you drink and will never go thirsty again. And while this is all happening, um, the Jewish people are still doing their traditions and customs. If we look in the back, we see uh, someone is bringing forth a lamb as a sacrifice. And as we know, if we read scripture, this could be symbolizing Jesus in the future as a perfect lamb being the ultimate sacrifice for us in the end so that we can come to the Father through him and not have to continue with these traditions. And so there are many, many more symbolisms like, for example, the words written above Jesus' head in Latin and in Hebrew saying, the one that you seek will enter his temple. So prophesying about Jesus which they are not accepting, but he has entered his temple. Um, the flock of doves that symbolize heaven's approval. Uh, so if we go back to when Jesus, or if we fast forward, where Jesus was baptized and the Holy Spirit came down in the form of a dove, that is symbolizing that. Hunt has 
incorporated lots of details, lots of hidden messages in this story um, that by just looking at it, we might not necessarily catch it. So William Hunt was incredibly invested in this piece. He even traveled to the Middle East in order to research um, the different places, the culture. He even had uh, Jewish models that he would use to um, paint the specific details of their, um, of their outerwear, especially the Jewish leaders with their prayer shawls and everything. So he dedicated and put a lot of work into this painting. It actually took him about six years to complete. He believed that the artist's job was to portray truth with his paintings and to do it in the most accurate and beautiful way, which was very different from the Victorian era that he grew up in, which was known for embellishing and kind of over-dramatizing scenes. So he was going against that grain of popularity. So William Hunt's mission or message in this painting was to say, pay attention, change your life. All art is a branch of that spirit of appeal from the divine to man, which has been working ever since our kind knew the difference between good and evil. And so as the men that were surrounding Jesus at that time had their own opinions about him and their own choice to whether choose the old Testament or his new way of teaching, which did not contradict the Old Testament, but gave new light and new life and a new promise, we all have the same decision, the same choice to make. Whether we want to stay in our old ways, our own promises that the world has to offer, or if we are going to choose Christ and the promise and the hope that he has for us.